What do you think about a man that holds on to you but can't love you correctly? Statement, I never understood a person that say they happy but can't leave you alone. Hi, we are back now with episode 8 of Love Now, Cry Later. Um, Y'all, I'm so excited. I am going, I am consistent at this. I have not stopped yet. I'm proud of myself. So let's get on with the episode. Okay, restate the topic. I'm going to restate the topic again. What do you think about a man that holds on to you but can't love you correctly? Um, Like I said, I'm only giving y'all for what I've been through and what I've experienced. I experienced someone that wants to just hold on. And some men, some men get like that. They want to hold on to you. They don't want to see you do greater. They don't want to see you do better with nobody else. But they can't do what they need to do as far as you. They can't put their foot down and say, I want to be with you, only you. You know what I'm saying? So it's like that becomes a time in life where you should, you know, what I'm saying? as I feel like you as a man, you should know what you want. I, this is how I feel, ladies. I feel like even men, sometimes a woman will hold on to you as well. I feel like if it's been months now, a man and a woman know, know, know who they want to be with. Don't ever think, oh, yeah, he just holding on to me. He just dealing with her, but he just holding on to me. No. He know who exactly who he want. And the one he holding on to might be the one he want. And then, you know what I'm saying? You just being the, the third wheel, the side chick, just saying. You just sitting there. Oh, yeah, he going to leave me for her. No, nah, he's not going to do that. He's not going to do that. I don't care how much he cheat on her, how much he abuse her, or, you know, mistreat her physically, emo emotionally, all of that. He's not going to leave that girl. You got to understand, men pick females that they can play with. I'm going I'm to I'm stay with her because I can, I, I can continue to cheat on her. I can, t I can continue to make her look bad. Men do that. My topic, I tried to change it. I had, what do you think about a, a N-word that holds on to you but can't love you correctly? I had to change, you know, I had to make sure that it was, you know, you know professional-wise. Um, but I would call I would call him a boy. I wouldn't even call him a man. I would say, this is what I would say. What do you think about a boy that holds on to you but can't love you correctly? Only a boy is like that. He don't know what he want. He don't know if he won't. He don't know. Matter of fact, back to what I said. I'm so sorry to say it again. He know exactly who he want and what he want to do with his life. And then some men be hurt. Walking around hurt. So they feel like, well, I'm going to have her to talk to from time to time. Or I'm going to have her right here, you know, you know, just be my, um, my dummy. How much longer do you want to be a dummy? You have to wake up eventually. Because I ain't going to lie. I'm being honest. Like I said, I'm being honest. It's my channel. Or this is my podcast. And I'm being honest with y'all. I was dumb once. I'm pretty sure we all have been dumb. This whole generation. Just saying. Male and female. We all have been dumb in a situation where... We didn't see our stuff coming out. We seen our stuff with that same person and not going nowhere. So to see that, you get what I'm saying? It makes a big difference. You have to see your way out of the situation. Because he wants to continue to have you on his hip like a baby and have somebody else on his other hip the same way as you. But might treat her a little might, you know, he might treat her a little better than you. He might treat him a little better than him. Man and female. Talking about both, both genders. A man and a female will hold you back. They don't really, they, come on now. Yeah, like, you have to, you have to think to yourself, how dumb can I, can I continue to be with this person? You know what I'm saying? You have to, we have to wake up. Uh, like my grandma used to always say, my mama say, a light bulb comes on to somebody. It comes on to your head. You can't be, and not only that, you know, we are females, we are blessed with an intuition. We know when something's not right. We know when it's men out here playing both sides. I'm just saying, we know this. So, you know, ain't no point of you, uh, I don't know, I don't know what's going on. Or I'm, you know, I'm just a girlfriend. You know, he just out here doing what he want to do. That's not, that's not love, baby. That's not love. And stop thinking when a man give y'all a child, that's love. That's not love either. That's just to keep you bound. Back to the holding on to and don't want to do correctly. That's bound love. It's not really love, but it's bound. I know I could do what I want to do with her or do what I want to do with him. He ain't going nowhere. She ain't going nowhere. 
Who wants to be like that for the rest of their life? Somebody got to wake up. He ain't going to wake up and she ain't going to wake up. Well, you know, they're not going to wake up because they want to continue to keep you on their side and continue to, you know, to um, keep playing with you. So they're not going to never change at all. You know what I'm saying? So basically, it's just a waste of time. You got them. They got you just dangling around. I ain't married you yet. I ain't said they want to just be with you. And some stuff I say, it's just this generation is just so, there's no more love. What happened to the love, the real genuine love? There's some more out here. And that's, it's really sad because it's like, you know, it's, it's, it's sad. It's really, really sad how it's no really, it's really not really enough love out here. They, first of all, they, they already lost loyalty. Loyalty been gone. That was last year. Now we're dealing with the love. There's no love out here. So you got to be careful with that as well. That's why I say it's, it's a little, out here generation, it's a little different. It's not how the older days, you know, like you be somebody, you fall in love or you watch these, you sit down and watch these romantic movies and they don't, you know what I'm saying? They, they get you like God, you know, they get you to pray to God. If I say, oh, well, I'm waiting on, I'm waiting on God. If God would make me a millionaire without a man, I'm pretty sure he can do that because, you know, he, he he had Mary had Jesus without a man, just saying, not being deep, but I'm just saying. You never know how God see your future. So you know, my thing is, if ladies, men, whoever, lady, a man, whoever, my biggest thing I would say, my advice I would say, do not be out here giving these men and a woman a four five year process on them loving you. Ain't nothing wrong with put a thing on a butt. A man know who they want. A woman know who they want. Nobody going to just keep on dragging you along and don't know if they really want to be with you or not. I'm talking about marriage. Not a girlfriend or not a baby mama. I'm talking about a wife. A husband. You get what I'm saying? We want to live the old days. Why would I want to just be your baby mama or be your girlfriend? That stuff gets played out after a while. What are we doing? That'd be my question. What, what, what are we doing? And I don't care how mad he get or how mad she get. Ask them that question. What are we doing? Life is just passing along. Us doing the same thing over and over again. We're not going to do that. No, we're not doing that. You got to live every day, like for real, like they say in this generation. Live it like it's your last day. So what, so what are you doing? You letting a person play with you? Treat you wrong? You you deserve listen, this coming from me. You deserve so much better. You deserve so much better. Don't ever let somebody play with you. You know who you are. You know your potential. Don't ever sit around and let a man or a woman play with you. You you know what you're worth. You know your worth. So don't ever have nobody sitting down playing with your heart, playing with your mind. Playing with your soul. And now they want to just drop the spirits off of you and leave it. That can be sex. That can be phone conversations. Oh, yeah, spirits transferred through there, too. You didn't know that? I had to learn it. I used to always say, man, this person, we never really been out. We never really did nothing. How all of a sudden I just get like a, a stronghold on him and, a, and a, you know, and I'm um a soul tap with him. And we, we, never, we, we didn't really do nothing. Oh, yeah, a phone can be one, too. A phone is really the strongest. They don't tell y'all that no more. That's really the strongest. Beating the keyboard. But that phone conversation? On the phone all night, get up in the morning, they still on the phone with you. Oh, yeah. That's an attachment. You're combining. <laughs> You're combining and not only combining. The person said something to me yesterday. What was said? Um, bond. You're bonding. Now y'all souls, y'all spirits are bonding with each other. Oh, I like this person. Dang, you know he. Uh, and be careful of them. Good morning, Texas too. Good morning, Texas. Them the good morning calls. Be careful of that. Oh, that's a setup as well. That's why I said this generation today. You need God. You have to have God because God will come for, come to you in a dream. He will come to you in a sign. He will come to you in your yeah your sleep. He will come to you just sitting up. He, God, will, I'm telling you, y'all need, this generation, you need God. 
Not saying I got so much of it, but I'm just saying I see things before it happens. God lets me know, okay, yep, he ain't for the work. Yep, she ain't your friend. Yep, they're not for you. I mean, it hurts me wrong. I'm dealing with it now. It hurts. Being by yourself, for real, for real. Not having no friends. Yeah, it do. But the best love is God's love. I'm not going to lie. It is. That's the best love. At least you ain't going to get hurt. The only part you might get hurt at is when God tell you to cut them off. And you like, God, but it's my only friend. I'm your friend. I could be the best friend you ever had in life. I may give you what you need, not what you want. I'm going to give you what you need. So that's the topic. I feel like if they plan around, they don't know what they really want in life, they messed up in life. You see, their life is still going backwards. They're going in circles or, or a cycle. Leave them alone. Leave him alone. Leave him or her alone. It's a waste of time. They're going to continue to waste your time and not care. Because you letting them do it. Admit, admit it and keep it pushing. I tried. I tried to work it out. It didn't work out. Oh, well. So that's it for the topic. If you got, Like I said, if you guys want to comment on it, you can. Y'all can come at the bottom. Or y'all can comment on any social media platform you see it on. You can comment on it. You can add to it if you want to. Um, statement. Statement. I never understood a person that say they happy but won't leave you alone. Like I said, anything that I, anything that I have as far as a topic or a statement, shape, I've been through it. Siobhan has been through it. Um, so I, I'm going to give y'all this little story. Not a long one, but a little, a little, just a little Christmas story. I was talking to this one person, right? And they, now I'm mad, y'all. Sometimes people will have a double life. I I I always been a Hannah Montana fan. Always been a Hannah Montana fan. I always been a Hannah Montana fan. Always been. And her story is you get the best of both worlds. <laughs> get what I'm saying, y'all. You get you, you get the best of both worlds. And you know when I was young. You know you're not thinking about them when you were young. You just singing. You get the best. You know her song. When times come up, you like hold on. Best of both worlds. The man wants the best of both. He wants to, what is called, they, they always say, eat his cake and ice cream or something. Have what they always say, you get the, you know, you eat your ice cream and cake or something like you can eat it too, something like that. That goes for men and women, the ones that's playing around in life. Them be the ones that can have a situation going on, but won't even be man enough or female enough, both genders, to tell you, a woman enough, to tell you. Yeah, I got something going on over here, you know, and da, 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 da. they don't tell you that. You got to fan through somebody else, or they'll tell you later on in life. So, you know, I didn't know about the situation of this and that. Ooh, didn't know about it. I'm being honest. Didn't know about it. So, by me not knowing about it, I'm like, okay, you know, ooh, ooh, this and that. Ooh, you know, all that. So, I found out something that I didn't supposed to find out. I found it out. I said, all right. Y'all, anybody that know me, if you don't know me, this is me. When I found out something, I'm a very private person. Very private. When I found out something that, yeah, when I found out something that don't sit right with me or I didn't know about you and you didn't tell me, I remove myself. I have to. I have no other choice because I see this ain't going to end up well. Somebody going to end up either hurt, hurt, I mean physically and emotionally hurt. You know what I'm saying? You know, misunderstanding thing. So when I found that about it, I moved myself back from it. So, man, y'all, I said, okay, I'm going to just let that, you know, I ain't even tell that person, hey, I'm going to leave you alone. I'm going to just, you know, keep you, you know, where you at. I didn't say nothing, but I told it to somebody else that knew that person. You know, get what I'm going. So they like, okay, bet. Leave it, boo-boo. All right. They, they, by that time, the person, the person told them that, because I ain't here no more, whatever this and that. So I end up, um, I end up moving back. I stopped, like I end up, you know, I end up, I distance myself and everything. Um, I didn't have time for it no more. You know, it was just too much, too much going on. I moved, you know, I, I, I left the whole situation alone. Left them alone, moved on this and we Let's, you know, I get a phone call, and you know, what's the name said? 
It's the same person, y'all. I just cut off. Like, I ain't talked to that person at all. Oh, yeah. What's the name? Um, going around saying, going around saying what? If you knew, you know, first of all, you knew what you did. You lied about a situation that you knew you had going on. You know what I'm saying? When I found out about it, I removed myself. So while I'm here, you said something about me for it. Now, I'm, you know what I'm saying? Now, the person I'm talking to, hey, somebody said, woo, 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 came from. Why is, you, why, is it, why is we going around in circles? Why is it getting back to me that you said something about me and I have not talked to you? Because you, you got the memo that I cut you off because of this and that. So instead of you being a man coming to me as a man about the situation, you went to other folks that knew that person. That's how it got back to me. And I'm like, my, this is me. I don't care who I deal with. Only because I believe I serve a man of God. I serve God to the fullest. And that's why I think people do what they try dare me to say something or want me to say something. I'm I my name is Siobhan Zarkia Thomas. Some folks that hurt me, betrayed me, backstabbed me, lied on me, accused me of stuff, all type of stuff. I have not once made a live video. I have not once confronted them about it. I have not one said my son, but I have not did none of that. You know what I'm saying? So when people know that you don't do stuff like you don't move like that, like how they move and you know that cannabis and sticky stuff, people try to do stuff to provoke you to see what you would do. Let me try to say she did this to see what she'll do. Let me try to, you know, air her out this way and see what she do. How you airing somebody out with Dennis and that? And I know your whole life. Remember, we was around each other for real, for real. I know your whole entire life. I just don't say nothing because I'm a bigger person. If I fought my own battles, I think I'd never win, being honest. God fights my battles. So that's why I don't say nothing. That's why I don't, you know what I'm saying? That's why I don't come back and say I, I don't have the time. You know, you, know, you know how much time it takes to stop and to confront somebody about something that God could have just literally destroyed me like this? I don't have time for that. My father can move his pinky, you gone. Not even just saying passing away. I'm saying like something can happen to you. So why would I waste my time arguing with you that ain't got you ain't got nothing? You ain't got nothing to lose. I do. We ain't even talking about material stuff. We ain't talking about that. Yeah, so you know we you know when people ain't got nothing to lose, they try to do everything to get you at your character. They know you could want to manage you. Y'all was once cool. So they know you could get a little rowdy. You know you could do a little stuff. You know they know that. But they want but they want the world to see how you act. It's not gonna happen, babe. So just it ain't gonna it ain't gonna work. Your best bet is just to stop. Back to the story. So I found out about this and that. I said, okay, cool. I ain't say nothing. Yeah, I didn't say nothing. Then this is what I told the person that came to me and told me what that person said. I said, I let that person be happy. I let that person live their life with that person. <laughs> I let you do all this stuff. You know what I could have done, could have literally done? That could have destroyed you and your little family. But I didn't do that. I'm like, I let this person go on with their life. Even though you was living the both of both worlds with that person in me, but I didn't say nothing. I let it be what it was. I moved on because I know God fights my battle. I don't have to fight my own battle. It's a waste. So I'm like, I let him I let that person be happy. And this is the thanks I get. Why are you mentioning my name, bro? And we haven't even talked. I can see if you apologized to me, not once got an apology. I can see if we was, you know, you was grown up to talk to me about what you did to me, but we didn't do that. So I let you be happy. And you want to come into, you know, mess up what I had going on, what I was having going on, because you're bitter. You don't know who you want. You just confused. So it's like, you know what I'm saying? Like, if you happy with a person, don't pretend to be happy. 
Be happy with them. Like, stay with that person. Don't keep reaching back. No, 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 no. Stay. Now, now you got to, you know, it's just, it's a lot. Just stay. You done gave that person almost everything. So just stay that way. Why do you keep reaching back for it? It don't make sense to me. If you so-called happy as you say you are, and you happy with this person, you did this and that, stay that way. Don't keep reaching back. Now, if you want to preach back and apologize, which sometimes it be a waste, but and apologize for what you've done, then that you know that's a little better. But to reach back and come back the same way, like you the same disgusting thing, something's wrong. Seriously. So back to the top, back to the statement before I, you know, I don't want to lose it. Never understood a person that say they happy but won't leave you alone. That's why I said, stay that way. It's just stay that way. I don't care if you faking it. Stay your butt that way. I don't. I don't care. I'm happy. I, this did happen and this didn't happen in my life. Okay, stay that way. I don't know what's what, what, what's drawing you back this way anyway. Especially when you not like I said. You not apologize for what you did, how you did it. Like what? You reap what you sow, and that's Bible. So you think I'm going to literally sit here and just keep? No, I'm not doing it. So my advice to people out there, when folks want to keep reaching back to you, they claim they happy, they claim they done moved on, let them go. When they reach out to you, I'm good. Matter of fact, block them. They can't even get through, block them. I don't care if they go through other social media. Block them on that too. You claim you happy, right? You got, you got, you, you got, you got who you want. Stay that way. Nothing should have you coming back backwards. Nothing. I don't care if it's a friendship bond we had, an old bond. She thought you should, should talk about that before you start lying. Bah. No, nobody got time for that. I just feel like people that say they happy, let them be happy. Move on. Help them move on. As in blocking them. Keep them, keep them going forward. Don't look back to me. I'm good. I'm doing a good job with myself. I'm okay with you. If I wanted to talk to you, or if I wanted to conversate with you, I would reach out to you. I probably, you know, that's I'm just saying. But it's not that type of party over here. It's 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 done for. So that was the topic. I mean, that's the statement. Um, yeah. So I feel like y'all need, you know, just flat it out. This is what it is, and this is what it ain't gonna be. That's that. So with that being said, this is it for this episode y'all i enjoyed it it was nice i like it um i loved it and yeah i'm just trying to help out help out a sister help out a brother that's all as as i'm still getting help on my own with god on my side i'm i'm help i'm help every day because i love god and i won't take it back and that's that um but yeah like i said i'm only telling y'all stuff for what i've been through i can't give you nothing nothing else that i have not been on anything I talk about is what Siobhan have went through, been through, or going through. But you would never, you would never know which one. You would never really know. But with that being said, I love you guys. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. It's still a podcast. It's still on my YouTube channel. And share it to a friend. Share it to a family member. Share it to your social media platform. Thanks for watching. Bye.